In this video I'm going to show you how to install XVMC onto your Raspberry Pi and this will let us play movies using the network basically onto your TV. So you're going to need open a LEC, SD formatter and Win32 disk imager. All links for these will be in the description and you just want to extract the zip folders. So once we've extracted these we will want to run the setups for each program. So here I am just going through the setup for SD formatter. So now that that's installed, we will also install Win32 Disk Imager, accept the license agreement, and we'll make a desktop icon because when it says run the program at the end, it brings up an error. So we can just use that desktop icon to launch the program quickly. So first of all, you'll want to put your SD card into the computer and we'll format it using SD Formatter. So we'll just double check the options here and make sure it's the right SD card and not another drive in your computer and we'll just format that and now that that's done we will close that and we will write the OpenELEC image file onto the SD card so we'll click write and then yes to confirm and you want to double check that this is the correct drive again and now that this is just writing to the SD card and now this is just writing to the SD card Now that that's done, we can take the SD card out of the computer and, and now I will tell you what you need for this tutorial. So of course you're going to need the Raspberry Pi, you're also going to need a keyboard and you're also going to need an Ethernet cable for connecting to the network and the SD card. So put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and then plug in your network cable and your keyboard then once that's done you can plug in HDMI or analog video I recommend HDMI and then make sure to plug in your power cable and then you should see this screen once you power up the Raspberry Pi saying open a LEC and we'll just let that boot. Now this process has been sped up because it does take a while for the first boot. So here we can see the XBMC logo and here it is. So we have installed XBMC onto the Raspberry Pi using OpenELEC and if you need to update OpenELEC you can just go to the system options but that is about it if this video helped you make sure to like and share it but otherwise thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video